Hi everyone, this is Connie from Connie's Creative Creations. Today, I am taking part in the 5 Under 5. Again, I do this every month. I participate in this challenge. I absolutely love it. So let's get right into these 5 projects. Now, I'll also come back with more information on it. This is one of the egg molds or eggs, plastic eggs from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to use the clear part, but you can see there's little ducks on the side. I didn't want that showing, so I grabbed some. Um, I was going to see if I could scratch it. That wasn't going to work. I didn't want to scratch up the plastic. So I grabbed my acetone, and I am just going to put a little bit on a paper towel, and it literally rubs right off. That's how quickly the acetone does. Now, you don't want it to stay on there super long because it can start eating away at the plastic if it's the wrong kind of plastic. Um, acetone is a, a solvent, and so it breaks down substances like paints, glue, uh, like paint polish, nail polish, stickers, so yeah. All right, now this is also a candlestick from the Dollar Tree, and I am covering them both in um, Mod Podge and then we're going to paint. Now I'm going to use E6000 and hot glue to attach this. Now I make sure that I do not put um, hot glue on top of the E6000 because if it mixes it breaks down the, the components and doesn't work as well. So as soon as I get it on there I'm just going to hold it now it's standing up more right now than it ends up and that's because it starts to fall and when I put it back up I put it more uh, on a tilt which gives it more surface to be glued which ends up working perfectly and that doesn't happen until I start adding the paint and I'm using um, the folk art in the Adirondack white and I just do the bottom and then when I start doing the top that's when I start having the issue and I'm painting the back of this egg but you know what it's a process sometimes things don't work out exactly the way you want and you just change your focus a little bit and you just do it a different way and that's no problem at all and now that I'm finishing that Adirondack, then I am going to get a light blue. It's folk art. I think it is cotton. No. No, that's wrong. It's like a, a bluebird blue. Actually, I think that is Lagoon in Apple Barrel paint. And so now I'm going to start painting the backside of the, uh, the egg. And that's when it starts to get loose and I have to reinforce it. And this blue is a very opaque color, but the reason why I did the white on the inside was for two reasons. One, because I wanted the white on the inside of the egg and I wanted the blue on the outside. And so that way it works perfectly. And so once I get this done and get it all dry, then we're going to start embellishing. Okay, and I completely lost all the footage after this. I ended up making a cross with those craft sticks, and I used a little bit of foam, and then the moss, and eggs, and this is the way it turned out. I hope you guys like it, because I sure do love it. And the cost for this is about a dollar fifty. So I'm under that to five bucks. All right, now for the information. This is the five under five DIY challenge. The hosts are Emily from Farm Charm Chic and Missy from the Crafty Cove. Their guest host is Tammy from Happiness Created. So let's get right back into this. I absolutely love this collab. Okay, I'm taking this basket from the Dollar Tree and I've got this burlap wrap or ribbon that I got from a thrift store. I got a huge bag of different burlaps for, I think it was 25 cents or 50 cents. So what I'm going to do first is I'm taking a plastic canvas um, and cooking it to the bottom of the basket. Now we're going to make a hat, like an Easter springy hat. 
So I'm just using hot glue and I'm hooking this um, canvas to the t um, bottom of this uh, basket. So I am just trimming up that plastic canvas and then I'm going to grab that burlap and I'm going to measure across the top of the basket. I probably should have put some foam core or something in there, but it's hard to get things to stick in there. So this worked out just perfect. I cut two pieces. I glued them right down the middle together on the binding. So it was a strong hold. And then I'm just going to put it over that. Now it's a struggle to get it all tucked in and done, but I ended up getting it uh, on there and secure. So um, once I get this trimmed, I'll start gluing it down and then I grab the burlap and go around the side and that makes the form of the hat. And then all I have to do after that is the brim. Now the top of the hat is all covered. I took a darning needle and some uh, Baker's twine and I am going to actually um, sew around that ribbon and get it in ruffled and then I'm gluing it down and then that after that is done well when that is done the hat is finished the form of it and then we just get to decorate so this is some stuff from the Dollar Tree odds and ends from different picks um, I've got some uh, eucalyptus, I've got those little picks that has the glitter, I've got those little yellow flowers, and then I have some uh, off-white mums. And I decorated that, and that was okay. I, my camera shut off, I don't have the end of me putting all these flowers, but it kind of goes from where it's at up onto the top. It looks ends up looking beautiful. So I hope you guys really like this. I love it. I also added a couple of butterflies on the the uh, flowers because that's what butterflies do. So like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this. So let's get right to the next one. Okay, this is a wood round. It's a, almost 12 inches. Um, I get them in boxes of 12 of them from Amazon for, I think it's like $12.99 or $14.99. It's definitely worth it. And I'm just going to, I'm painting this in um, Apple Barrel's white paint. And then once it is thoroughly dry, you'll get to see what I end up doing next to this. It's pretty cool. At least I really liked it. Um, so I what I did is I grabbed... Um, some painter's tape and I am going to put painter's tape on it. What I'm going to be doing is um, making a buffalo check. So I use, I'm just measuring it. I know it's not in the center so I'm trying to measure it to get it in the center and then I cut a little piece for my spacer and then I just keep going all the way down. Then I'm going to use Apple Barrel's purple paint and I'm going to color in all those stripes. Then I'm going to pull off the tape. And you'll see what I end up doing next. I love painting um, Buffalo Check. I think it is just, just so darn cute.
And yes, my husband brought me my tea and my popcorn. All right, I pulled all those off. And once I get it dry, then we will start putting the um, tape on the opposite direction. And so I'm just going to go ahead and put it on there. Now, this does pull a little bit of the um, paint off. Um, sometimes if you don't get your paint super dry, it will. But it ended up being okay um, because I had to paint some more in it anyway. And so it was fairly easy to fix. So here I am. I'm now going to use the same purple paint and paint over um, all of those. Uh, and I'm using a sponge, a makeup sponge. And I'm doing all of the white parts. And then I decided, no, I need to do them all. So I went ahead and I painted all the whole, whole strip. And then I kind of like wasn't sure what else I was going to do. I probably should have put the more striped paint right down on the um, the paint that I'd already done, did because it's not a lot of color variation. But that's when I realized that this is just a check and I needed to make it in to a buffalo check. So I took some black and I um, added the black to my purple to give it a really super dark dark black and that's I start coloring in all the areas where um, the colors came together which is going to give us a variation of the color and then it turns out to be um, a buffalo check because it's three different shades of the same of the same color or you can do other colors I think yeah you can but this one's just all purple so I hope you guys end up liking this whole what it ends up being like because I just love it but um, this is the process now that all the dark is done then I decide I have to make some lighter so I've added some white in with that color and I painted all the connecting pieces and I'm not quite sure why I did it because it looked really good but I felt like I needed to do something else to it to make this really really pop and it ended up being the perfect thing to do I just wanted more of a where you could really see the difference of the colors of the paint so it ends up being that there is um, no colors that are the exact, the, just the, the purple, because I end up covering them all up. And a lot of it was because the tape had pulled off a lot of the, the um, paint. And I could have just done the straight purple, but that's when I decided to do, um, add a light or white in with that darker color. And it ended up being the most perfect thing to do. Okay, now that I'm getting this finished, I'm going to set this aside and start on the second part of this, um, yeah, this craft. Now I took, I sat that aside, now I took this bunny from the Dollar Tree, it's got the two carrots hanging from it, I didn't need the carrots right now, so I set those aside, and I'm going to um, take that jute off of there the hanger and I have to heat up the hot glue from the um, little f bow and I was able to get that off. Now I'm using my spackling from the Dollar Tree and I'm filling those holes because this isn't going to be hanging um, by itself so I wanted to make sure it was done. Now I'm going to be working on the back side and I know this is just going to be a bunny face like what's on the front side, but I wanted it to be a little bit different. So I'm using um, uh, Folk Arts Sheepskin, and I'm just completely covering that. I do two coats on it to make sure that it's completely opaque. And then I'm going to, um, once it is dry, then I'm going to start working on the other colors. And I've got the orange and then black and white. So I am just figuring out where I want the nose to be. And I did get it a little off center and that is okay. That just means he has his head turned just slightly and he's not looking straight at us. So once I um, paint the nose, 
then I need to do um, the black part of the um, his face, the eyes, the whiskers, and the mouth. So I'm just going to use a very thin uh, paintbrush, and I'm going to get that all painted on there. So, and this is really fairly easy to do. Um, so I'm just painting um, and I, I'm doing the whiskers first and then I'm going to paint the eyes. Now, the at first when I do the eyes, they're too small, so I make them bigger. But I love little bunnies. They're just so cute. So here I am going to do the eyes and you'll see they are too small. And so I am going to uh, make them a little bigger. Now, I do have a drawing that I had traced um, from the back side so I could have a reference to look at but um, yeah once I look at them like okay I put the mouth on and then that's when I realize the eyes are just too small for the face so I'm going to enlarge those eyes quite a bit I get that all the way I want it I grab uh, the white apple barrel paint and put in the little highlights in the eye I'm grabbing that wood round and I decided I didn't want to just glue it straight to it so what I ended up doing is I grabbed some uh, tumbling tower blocks and I'm gonna put those on the back of the um, the bunny and then I'm gonna put them on that uh, circle and that way it's a 3D effect. So I'm just going to um, get that all glued on. And then I realize I need to touch up some more on the eyes. They weren't quite the right shape. So I added a little bit more on there. And then I'm going to go ahead and add the tumbling blocks on the back. And then put that right down. And then I'm going to put a little... Uh, jute hanger and then we're gonna call this project finished oops I forgot I got to put the bow on it I end up making a, a messy bow right above where the um, on the head right by the bottom of the ears where the other bow was and I just take a bunch of different ribbons and I'm cutting them and laying them cross you know crosswise from each other and then I'm just gonna tie it glue it right onto the little head then I'm gonna glue a purple uh, button right over the top of that so you don't see where it's wrapped up and I end up wrapping it with a piece of jute and then I just get that all glued together now I didn't really have anything to glue it on to because I wanted it not right on the head because I wanted it like in between the uh, the bottom of the, the um, ears. So I ended up putting some uh, a part of a tumbling tower and um, a couple pop stick pop sticks pop sticks popsicle sticks and to bring it up to the same level. So it was easy for it to get to lay there and it looks like it's on the head, but it's not like falling down.
and this is how it turned out, and I hope you guys like it. I think this bunny is just cute as a button. All right, so let's get right into the next project. Oh, and I haven't been telling you how much this cost. This was like a dollar twenty, and that was it. Okay, so this is from the Dollar Tree, and it's a little, it's a hanger, but I ended up using it as, um, a, like a self shit. Uh, shelf sitter but you can still hang it because I don't take the hanger off I pulled out that little fox and I um, used sanding blocks on block on it and got it um, smooth as I can and now I'm using that same lagoon um, blue from apple barrel and I'm doing the whole inside I just I started just the bottom and then I decided I needed to do the sides as well so I went ahead and just got that all done Okay, so I'm just finishing up the inside there, and I don't do the rim of the top of the outside. I just do the inside, and then I'm going to, once that gets dry, then we're going to move on to the embellishments. I had those little chicks with eggs from something else that I pulled off of, and I have got um, some moss, and I'm putting the little... Uh, styrofoam thing back on the eggs because I wanted it to sit up and I um, end up cutting I don't I only have one egg left of those styrofoam eggs from the Dollar Tree so I cut it in half and I'm going to put the moss and the eggs and the little chickies in and then this project is done and this costed me the frame was a dollar twenty five and the other pieces were just parts so a dollar fifty maybe a dollar seventy five so we're doing really well on the money on these okay I am just hot gluing this in and I'm gonna hot glue all of the other little bits and bobs and pieces and then this project will be finished once I did get this stuff all added, then I took my jot marker from the Dollar Tree and I just wrote Happy Easter on this. I hope you guys really like this. I absolutely loved it. I think it's just darling. And it is, it was a dollar, like I said before, it's like a dollar fifty, dollar seventy five. So let's just get right into this last one. Now this is a mason jar from the Dollar Tree. So a dollar twenty five, I end up um, putting in a line and then I end up cutting that off. I don't want it as a mason jar. I want it more as a plaque. So I'm just taking off the t the tin and then I'm just going to cut that um, mason jar and then I will sand it to make it nice and smooth. So this came out really nice. It looks like it was made that way. Um, so I'm just making sure there's nothing you know, rough on it. I'm going to pull off that tag and then I'm going to start painting this. Now, um, I'm just using my palette knife for to pull it up. I used a little bit of sanding, uh, sanding on it to make it smooth. And then I'm using the white Adirondack, uh, uh, folk art paint to cover this. Now I do two coats on this to make it nice and opaque. Now that that is dry, I grabbed some, uh, chalk paint and I am just going to be painting a wreath of flowers so I am just going to do the stems and do a lot, bunch of floating leaves and doing some tulips and then doing some other different types of flowers and just fill a wreath all the way around.
and if you've watched my channel for any length of time, you know I love to paint. I really love to paint flowers, so I'm just decorating this with flowers to make this wreath, and I absolutely love this whole project. I think it's so springy, so eastery, just, I just love it. And I'm using the pink, and this is the Perfectly Blush Pink, I think, from Full Cart. And I've got uh, two greens, a dark green and a light green, that I am using. I'm doing the dark green, I'm going to go over it with the light green for highlights. And then the yellow, I'm also doing the same thing, because I don't want these to be just pink. So I'm going to be using a little bit of um, the yellow to give the flowers a um, two-dimensional look or, th or 3D look, however you to you it looks. So I'm just filling in. I'm making using the, the lighter green as highlights. And I do realize that there, that spot down at the bottom, it didn't have enough leaves on it. So when I get to that point... I am going to go back and add that after I'm done with the yellow. I notice that that corner on that left bottom is kind of bare. So I do go back and I finish that. And um, I ended up putting the little bit of the yellow on these flowers. It gave it a perfect contrast as well as I'm doing the centers of those some of the flowers in the yellow. And this is when I actually... You didn't see me. You can see I did add the leaves. I forgot to film it. But this is a saying um, that I got cut out on my Cricut. And I am just weeding it. And then I'm going to get it all on there. So now I'm going to go ahead and put these letters, the word Happy Easter, with my uh, peel and stick. And I hope you guys enjoy this. All these different projects, like I said, none of them was over $2. So I, met, I hit the mark. And don't forget to call somebody to tell today and tell them you love them. Because it might be exactly what they need to hear. Also, you guys have a blessed day and a blessed week. And don't forget to be the Bible that somebody reads today. And remember, hit that subscribe button. Helps my channel grow. You guys have a great day. Bye.